Hey, it's Pastor Alex, and thank you for taking time to watch this brief video. I'm trying to commute regular communication strings so that we can have a sense of togetherness um, to alleviate stress and anxiety and to feel like we're in this together. Secondly, I want to say thank you for everyone who made that online virtual worship experience happen. You all rock and you know who you are. And thank you for everyone who watched it. We had over 500 views and I think it'll continue. Continue to be safe, washing your hands for the 20 seconds, using social isolation when you can, and other things that Dr. Jasmine talked about in the video. Click in this letter and you can find that. Please, please, please join us on social media. It may not be your thing, but it is a much faster way to update you on information. Things are rapidly changing and we want you to know how the church is processing it and what you should know. Um, please, this is so important, this next announcement. Our online giving is a new opportunity to stretch us as a community. We've just launched a new platform, which just means a new way of giving. If you click on the link in this letter, it'll take you right to the Fountain of Life Giving page. I want to encourage all of our leaders and ministry participants in particular, would you do your giving online this week? One, we want you to see how simple it is. Two, it takes stress off of the audience. And three, if the social isolation continues for more than two weeks, we want to know that Fountain of Life can still be positioned to be the church because not only do we need to take care of you, but the community will look to us as well. So please, your generosity is needed now more than ever. Please take a moment. It takes about one minute to set up your account and then you can use your bank link or your credit card. It's secure. It's safe. We wouldn't use anything that would put you in jeopardy. And please take a moment after watching this to just give online. We just want everyone in the church to have an account set up so that when we can't be together physically, we can still give like that. Um, also, as we post things to the Facebook page, go to the Found of Life Facebook page um, and you can just share from there. And so please, please do that. There's a link in here that will take you to Twitter and take you to Facebook. It's easy to follow us. It's easy to join our page. And lastly, I'm calling for another fast on Thursday until two. We'll focus on the same things that we are today, but um, the guidelines are on the Fountain of Life Facebook page. And so please, let's just get through this fast today, but let's fast again on Thursday. I believe that God hears the prayers of his children. I want to remind you of a passage that I put in this letter to you. Be strong and courageous. Be not afraid or terrified because of them or whatever's threatening you, for the Lord your God goes with you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. God will never leave us nor forsake us. This was a promise to a different group of people, but the promise was made by the same God. And the God who knows what's going on in this world is sovereign and will make sure that, that the glory and honor of God is preserved and that the people, his sheep, the people who follow God are honored in this process as well. Let's put our hope in God. Let's turn our face to God. Let's pray for our community. Let's be relevant. And let's use this as an opportunity to, um, to go deeper in our faith, to understand our faith, and to be a witness to our neighbors, our loved ones, and our family. God bless you.